It's Power Back Time on the Gutsy Podcast. Each episode brings you five minutes of condensed inspiration to reclaim the courage and momentum you've unintentionally given away. You've got big things to do, so let's get your power back. Earlier this week, I talked to Patty Grimm about being bold, not bossy, how to be an assertive and successful woman. This was a powerhouse episode. I'm telling you, powerhouse. She talked about the five ways to be an empowered woman leader. We also talked about that fine line between like what is bold and what is bossy and what is too much and what is not enough and all these like words that fill our head. One of my favorite things that she shared was ask yourself, what is my intent? It's just such a good vibe check for yourself in any situation, anything that you're going to say, anything that you're going to do. If you're not quite sure which side of the fence you're falling on, you can just pause for a second and say, what is my intent with this? Making a bold move is one of those things that I encourage that you pause and ask yourself, what is my intent right now? Is this something for me? Is this something that's been calling me? Is this something that I feel completely aligned with? Is this going to add to the better good? Is this serving a higher purpose? Or am I just doing it because I'm trying to get attention? I don't feel like I'm good enough in a certain department. Or maybe you're just bored and you're trying to do something new. This week, I'd love for you to take your power back by choosing one area of your life or your business to make a bold move. Now, am I suggesting that you just, you know, fall off the face of the earth and move to the opposite side of the world? Not necessarily. But if that's what's calling you, then girl, pack your bags. What I'm talking about here is to really listen and lean into that little voice that you've been hearing, that gut instinct that you've had, that idea in the back of your head, that bold, dare I say, gutsy move that has been pulling at you. But you're like, I feel like I might be too much if I do that. I feel like they'll have opinions about me if I do that. What are they going to think of me if I do this? What if I screw it up? What if I fail? What if I, what if I, ah, that voice. I know her all too well. Which is why this week I really want to encourage you to take your power back by choosing one area to make that bold move. Now, if you need a little bit of oomph, a little bit of like fire under your rear end to get you going, here are a couple of different places and areas in your life and business that you may want to consider. Perhaps this is just something as simple as something you've been wanting to try. Maybe you've been wanting to learn how to brew beer. I don't know. Maybe you've been wanting to learn how to crochet. I know that this type of move may not seem so bold, but for you, maybe it is because it's com- maybe it's something completely out of anything that you would ordinarily do. Maybe it is trying a new wardrobe out. You know what? Maybe you always go to the blacks and the grays and the very, very light grays. We all have that section in our closet. But maybe you've been wanting to experiment with color or prints or a whole different style to begin with. What if you just bought that canary yellow shirt and said, fuck it, I'm going to wear canary yellow today? Maybe you've been wanting to change up your hairstyle, completely change the color. Hell, maybe you've wanted to add some kind of rainbow style color. Blue, pink, red, green. Maybe you just wanted to shave your whole damn head because you're tired of dealing with your hair and that's just what you want to do. Like these bold moves, the, one of the top reasons that you hold back from doing it is not because you're afraid to do it. It's because of the fear of what everyone else is going to say, think, or do. I mentioned and kind of joked earlier about moving halfway around the world, but, you know, really looking at where you live. Are you happy here? Is there somewhere else that's calling you? I think that sometimes we forget that these things don't have to be permanent. You know, maybe you've been wanting to travel the world, see a different site, or just live in a whole different culture and absorb what it's like. If we flip over into your business, maybe it's completely stopping a service that no longer serves you and you just honestly don't like doing it anymore. Perhaps it's pivoting your business plan. I pivoted pretty damn hard in spring of 2020. And it was one of the best things that I could have done. It was definitely one of those bold moves where I was like, well, you know what, I'm jumping and I don't really know what's on the other side. But my gut is calling me and I have to trust that. The way that you started your business does not have to be the way that you run it for the rest of your life, my love. And to be completely honest with you, 
I don't think that we're ever told that. Maybe it's time to actually raise those prices and actually stick by them. Maybe you hate the way that your content has been sounding and you don't just feel completely aligned with your target audience. So you make a bold shift and just get straight down to it. Maybe it is the way that you're showing up in your brand. Look, I can tell you firsthand, if your internal self is not aligned with your external brand, that's a tough place to be. But you can take your power back by making that bold move by saying, look world, this is who the fuck I am. And these are the people that I love to work with, and this is how I help them. Boom. Done. End of sentence. When you take your power back and reclaim that portion of your business and you make that alignment, ugh, pure, (laughs) pure freaking magic. Unicorns, rainbows, $100 bills, y'all. Like, seriously, that is the magic sweet spot. And if that portion particularly is resonating with you, head over to my website, lauraora.com and book a brand review because that's exactly what we're going to do. Look, making a bold move sometimes is the quietest, sweetest thing. Maybe nobody even notices. Maybe it's something just for you. And sometimes it's a loud roar that almost looks like fireworks on the 4th of July. Regardless, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks, says, or does about your decision. Because if you are in alignment with yourself, and this bold decision is to better your life and the people in your life, then my friend, you are one gutsy motherfucker. Ugh, I get real ramped up about this stuff. Oh, I just love, love, love the boldness of you guys. And I'm just going to infuse in here. Thank you for being on this journey with me. Thank you for showing up consistently to absorb this information. And you know what? For believing in yourself for absorbing this information and writing it down and saying, you know what? I am going to make a change. Like I mentioned, if you want to book a brand review, I highly recommend it. If you are not feeling connected with your brand, that is a surefire way to get that party started. Be sure to follow along with me and join the conversation on social at that Laura Aura. And as always, until I see you next time, stay gutsy. Stay gutsy.